Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Tom Ford is coming out with brand new eyeshadow quads. He's also discontinuing a few. And so I thought I would go ahead and create a video dedicated to each quad, just so if you're interested in one, you could just watch one. You wouldn't have to kind of sit through all of them because he is coming out with either seven or nine palettes. And I just thought that that would be way too long of a video to talk about all the new ones. So today we're gonna be starting with the Virgin Orchid quad, which is this beauty right here. And if you would like to see some swatches, some comparison swatches to previous Tom Ford quads, quads that I have in my collection, uh, watching me do a demo of this eye look and kind of learning a little bit more about the new eyeshadow quads and what's being discontinued, then just keep on watching. So I stopped into my Tom Ford counter at Neiman Marcus here and they had two of the brand new eyeshadow quads, one being Virgin Orchid, which we'll talk about today, and the other being Daydream, and that will be my next Tom Ford eyeshadow quad video. I spoke to the counter manager there, I, I can't remember, I should have written this down, but she mentioned that either seven more are coming or there are seven new eyeshadow quads in total. So I don't know if five more are coming or seven more are coming, but in either case, it looks like they are completely revamping their eyeshadow quad line. So she did confirm that they are discontinuing four of their eyeshadow quads. Titanium Smoke is gonna be discontinued, which kind of breaks my heart. That is a beautiful quad. Last Dance is another eyeshadow quad that they're going to be discontinuing. Starry Night is another one that they're gonna be discontinuing. And then hopefully I will find out for sure and post up here what the fourth eyeshadow quad that they're discontinuing is because I can't remember if it's Seductive Rose or Orchid Haze. I believe it's one of those and I just can't remember. So I'll flash that up on the screen if I can find out before I edit this video. If not, I'll probably put it as a pinned comment down below uh, this video. So anyway, those are the four discontinued quads and expect a lot of new eyeshadow quads from Tom Ford. So like I mentioned, I purchased these at Neiman Marcus, but I did see them online at Nordstrom. I will link to everything down below in my description box. I'll also link what I have um, on my face today. So here is Virgin Orchid. And the first thing I noticed was that it appeared like the new dip and the honeymoon quads in that the formula looks similar. Like the, the pans actually looked very, very similar. They have that kind of like satiny, silky sort of appearance. And while I'm not 100% sure because I didn't save the ingredients from uh, New Dip and Honeymoon, but upon touch, these feel like the exact same formula to New Dip and Honeymoon. So if you were curious about that, I would say that they are the same. I really like this formula and it's unfortunate because in this day and age of like Instagram makeup and super really highly pigmented eyeshadows that are coming out, I think some people may think these are too bland, but I think that they're very elegant. I find that they go on very smoothly. I think the quality is amazing. And then the pigmentation I think is very everyday and it's very, very wearable. So while you may not wanna throw this on if you're gonna be doing an Instagram selfie, I feel like this is something that you'd wanna wear in your everyday life. So so I also get a lot of questions about um, more mature eyelids uh, that you know, they're worried that they can't really wear too shimmery eyeshadows. They also worry that they can't wear very matte eyeshadows because that just looks even more dry. I find formulas like this to kind of fall right in between. And I think this formula would work really great on those lids because there's like a little bit of shimmer to here, but it's not super high shine. They're obviously, they're not matte. So I think they give off like a little bit of radiance, but they're not like super, super highly reflective. And I don't even know if you can tell on camera. I Obviously I have this quad on my eyes right now. And in person and up close, you can definitely see the shimmer in there. But I think from far away, I don't think that they give off like you're wearing something super metallic on the lids. And I think that's a really nice, happy medium for someone who may be concerned with texture on their lids. So why don't we go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparison swatches of this quad. So here are the four shades and all four shades in this quad have the same formula. Uh, like I mentioned, just like New Dip and Honeymoon from his existing line. I believe you would call these like a baked gelé formula. Again, I'm not that well versed and, and well schooled in makeup production and formula, but from what I can tell, this does seem like a baked gelé formula. They're kind of hard in the pan, but they're super, super smooth and soft when you run your finger over them. Very, very silky. And there's definitely like a little bit of kick up with this formula. You can probably see some powder along the framing 
uh, of these shadows. But it's not like when you stick your brush in here, you're gonna get like a cloud of shadow come up. That doesn't happen with this kind of formula. I also don't experience any fallout with these shadows, so I think that's a plus. Now let's go ahead and move into some comparison swatches. So when I first opened this up, I thought it looked very similar to Seductive Rose and New Dip. Like those were the two um, existing quads that I thought looked the most similar. So here I am comparing it to Seductive Rose and you'll see that the shades are very, very similar, but the formulas are completely different. So in Seductive Rose, you'll see that the lightest and the darkest shades are like a satin finish. And then the two mid-tone colors are like these glittery toppers. So what I've done with these comparison swatches is I've done the lightest one in Virgin Orchid and then the lightest one in Seductive Rose and I just continue down that way. So I put them side by side just so you guys can compare shade to shade from quad to quad. <laughs> After swatching them side by side, I thought, you know, these are actually really good companion palettes because they do have coordinating shades and they are different finishes. So I thought if you did have Seductive Rose, it would actually be nice to have Virgin Orchid to kind of work together. So anyway, that was just a thought that I had. Well, let's go ahead and compare this to New Dip. So here they are side by side. You can see that New Dip uh, on the right there is a little bit warmer, much more neutral than Virgin Orchid. Virgin, Virgin Orchid I find to be cooler on the cooler side. And here are the comparison swatches and I did the same thing. I basically paired uh, the lightest shade from Virgin Orchid next to the lightest shade in New Dip and then down the line. One thing I almost forgot to mention about these shadows is they can be used wet as well. So I did some swatches here and what I've done is I've applied uh, the wet swatch with a brush and then they're just next to some dry finger swatches. So you'll see the wet swatch first and then the dry and then the wet and then the dry for each shade. And when you wet these shadows, you still have a shadow that is still very wearable. It's still a very elegant look. They're just amped up a little bit. They're just a little bit more opaque. These colors are just stunning and this formula is just so, so good. So I really like this quad. I love this formula. I remember when New Dip and Honeymoon came out, I felt like that formula was like revolutionary at the time and it was so, so interesting. It was so different and I'm so glad that they've continued with this formula because I feel like the finish, the pigmentation and the effect that you get on your eyes, it has a more elegant finish on your eyes. And while I find these shades to be uh, very trendy, you know, we're doing a lot of plums and pinks, I don't find the effect of these shadows very trendy. I don't think they're overly pigmented. I don't think that they're necessarily like super high impact the way you see again on Instagram and on YouTube and everything. So I'm a really big fan of this color story and of this formula. And so if you're interested in a demo on this eye look where I use all four shades, that's coming right up. So I'm gonna start with my Tom Ford blending brush number 13 and I'm gonna go into this shade down here and I'm gonna put this into my socket crease area and on the outer corner of my eye. Next, I'm gonna take my Sonia G Worker One brush. I'm gonna go into this shade up here, the light pink shade, and I'm gonna place this all over my lid, starting from the inside and moving towards the uh, more lilac color. Next, I'm going to take a flat shader and go into this deep color here and just add a little bit more dimension to the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take my Esam S31 brush. I'm going to go into the lightest color here. I'm going to pop that into my inner corners and also underneath my eyebrow. All right, so that's it for the eyeshadow quad. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so I just threw on some Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. I used the Sugar Glider lipstick and what else did I use? Oh, I added some of Tom Ford's Eye Coal Intense in Bruise, which is like a really fun purple color uh, as eyeliner and some mascara. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe down below if you're interested in hearing more about the brand new Tom Ford eyeshadow quads that are being released slowly, it looks like. My next installment is going to be on the Daydream quad. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section and I will see you in my next video.